Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, today we're going to be checking out an amazing video, but kind of strange because the is I'll go with kind of strange. Guys, today we're going to be checking out who is the greatest, Jesus or the Prophet Muhammad. By Zach and Ike. Like, why we ask this kind of question? Is I don't think it makes sense. Like, I don't understand. What is he trying to say? Like, what is he trying to say? Who is the greatest, Jesus or Prophet Muhammad? Like, Okay, we come to conclusion that. Okay, I'm not gonna say. It. Let's just go. Hallelujah. Uh, I can ask for some question with you before I thankful Dr. Uh, Tun Mathir because very nice uh, uh, opening the program and uh, also uh, my High Commission Pakistan is here and uh, also I very respected. Uh, I'm from Pakistan, Christian. My name is Yusuf Masih and. Uh, I want to talk with you Hindi and own language. Can you? English. No, you are both of them. If you talk Hindi, it will be better. Brother, I can understand Hindi, but all this audience majority will not. There are very few Pakistanis and Indians here. So if you can't speak English, speak in English. I have a lot of questions. Ask one question which is the most important. But I want to ask with our language, easy for me and easy for you. Okay, you you ask in Hindi and because I answer just, into English. Just now, one sister asked you some question. You, you ask in Hindi, I will translate in English. Yes, brother. Okay. My first question is that I am in Pakistan schools. I have studied all the salam, the world, everything. Okay, there was a teacher there, Kari Kramo Sahib. So, now he is going to be a blessing of God. So, what did I say in the book? That the Prophet Muhammad is the light of the Prophet. Okay? On the other hand, आपने काफी प्रोग्राम आपने देखे हैं मैंने आपने आपके तो आपने हमेशा लफ्ज इस्तेमाल किया हसाई हम हसाई नहीं हैं ठीक है बाइबल में आपने पढ़ा होगा बाइबल में आपको लफ्ज हसाई कभी नहीं मिलेगा ठीक है ये आपने नाम दिया है दूसरा आप देखें जलाली किस नबी की पदेश जो जलाली है भाई साहब कोऑर्डिनेटर न दो या तीन सेंटेंसेस में आप सवाल कीजिए और मैं भी आपकी तरफ बढ़ना चाहता हूँ ना <laughs> तो आप क्या कीजिए हॉल हायर करो और पेपर में इश्तिहार दो क्या मैं तकरीर करने वाला हूँ जो आने के आएंगा वही ना इस... तो आज आपकी तकरीर सुनने के लिए लोग ने हैं तो ये सवाल जवाब का सेशन है आप सवाल पीछे दो या तीन सेंटेंसेज में बस आप ये बता दें इन दोनों नबियों में जलाली पदैश दोनों में किसकी थी कौन से दो नबी में थे नबी मोहम्मद और यसू अल मसीह में the brother asked the question, Kya between Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and between Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, who was Mo? Jalali can be translated into Jalali, ka, apu, yabun, who's better? No, glory. Glorious. <laughs> Jalali is a good thing. Better than you, you can tell me that you can tell 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 that who was born better? Ah. Mukaddis Paisaish means who was born more pure? He is a Christian. He is asking a question, trying to lead me. And this Christian missionary normally do. What he is asking, who was born more pure? Indicating that Prophet Muhammad Wasallam was born naturally. He had a mother and father. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, had a mother but no father. So normally Christian missionaries ask this question, which is beating around the bush and then asking that Prophet Muhammad had a mother and father. Prophet Jesus had a mother but no father. So who's greater? Who's greater? The reply to this is given in the Quran in Surah Al Imran, chapter 3, verse 59, which says, In the Masala Isa in the Lahi Kamasala Adam, Khalaka Min Turab. The similitude of Jesus in the sight of Allah is the same as Adam, peace be upon him. He was created from dust and said, Be and it was. If he wants to say that Jesus Christ is superior, he is God because he was born without a father, then Adam, peace be upon him, is greater God. He had no mother and no father. No, 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 no. Adam ko Khuda ne banaya tha. Bhai sahab, apne sawal puche mera jawab suno abhi. Mera jawab khatam ne hoa. आपको लेक्चर देने का तो हॉल आयर को इश्तेहार दो ये लेक्चर का टाइम नहीं है सवाल जवाब का टाइम है आप मैं जवाब सुनिए 
if they say that Jesus is God because he had got no father, then Adam, peace be upon him, is greater God according to the Bible and the Quran because he had no mother, no father. So the reason is that Almighty God is the creator. He can create in different ways. Normal human being to born, you require mother and father. But Almighty God even can create without mother and father, that is Adam, peace be upon him. He can create with mother, without a father, that is Isa alayhi salam. With a man and without a female is Bibi Hawa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator. So just because Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, has no father, that does not make him God. If that is the case, then Adam, peace be upon him, is greater God with Christians will never agree. So this is what Quran says, when you talk with the people, non-Muslim, Come to common term as between us and you. So this is how Christian missionaries, they try and catch fish. They try and catch fish. They try and trap the Muslims by quoting from the Quran. And the Muslims who don't know comparative religion, they get trapped. If you hear my lecture, deceit in Christian evangelism. Deceit in Christian evangelism. How do they deceive the people with false things? And the trap is a full lecture of mine. That will give you how the Christian missionary try and catch fish. What we believe, we should not deceive anyone. We believe in haq. As I said in my talk, وَقُلْ جَعَلْ حَقْ وَزَاقَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ قَانَ زَوْكَ When truth is held again, falsehood, falsehood perishes. For falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. What Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I want to tell you, brother, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he shall he speak. So what we realize, your Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, spoke about the last and final messenger to come, and his name is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Guys, in, in a way, he didn't answer his question, but I feel the question didn't deserve an answer, though, because... I think you, you, you are not supposed to compare anyone like it's it's kind of strange you are not supposed to compare anyone like they are both two different persons so the comparison is not needed but I enjoyed it but he got a point when he talked about this is how Christian missionaries like fish for Muslims and stuff I personally feel like if someone convince you about a religion is based on your personal belief not because the person like it's based on what you feel i feel most people like 90 percent of people buy things because they feel it's better than this so they go for it and if someone is able to convince you like a salesman is able to convince you to buy a house like you're not supposed to blame the product like you had he was able to clear your doubt for you to believe in it so i feel if a missionary is able to like tell someone about something like the way that like nike is able to tell so christians and they convert like it's kind of the same thing and you know there are some people who can actually bring out books and lectures of how to like bigger lectures of how to stay away from muslims and like rebuke them back with some verses in the bible but it's, it's strange i feel everything is based on your perception what you think is the truth when you have read like i feel reading the two books is amazing me i'm still on my way to finish the bible but guys tell me if you want me to check out the case for christ on my channel the movie actually if you want to check the movie on my channel tell me what you think about it guys you to like share subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time guys peace